Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How you I'm been fine, doing? Thank you. And you? Uh, fine. Thank you for asking, Anna. I'm glad to hear you again. Good evening, Olga. Good evening, Soraya. Good thank evening. you for coming to the class. We are going to wait a little bit for... Good evening, uh, teacher. Good evening. We are going to wait a little bit for the rest of the class. Vamos a esperar un momento para el resto de la clase. And before starting the class, as you already know, tomorrow we won't have classes, right? Remember that. Like uh, this, today we will have classes normally. Tomorrow we won't have classes. And as you already know, or I don't know if you know, but supposedly also the 16 is a day off not only the 15 but also the 16 so we don't know yet if we are going to have classes on the 16 okay no sabemos si vamos a tener clases el 16 porque han dicho que también que el 16 es día de asueto entonces este estamos esperando no nos han confirmado nada si vamos a, a reponerlo la otra semana o si, porque ya sería eh, este, una, una clase que perderían ustedes. Pero este, eh, vamos a ver qué es lo que dicen la, la semana que viene, o perdón, este, en estos días, para decirles a ustedes, ¿verdad? Pero mañana, eso sí, no se cambia, mañana no hay clases. So tomorrow, don't wait here, you can rest, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, perfecto. Now, um, what we were studying yesterday, ¿qué estábamos estudiando ayer? Who remembers? ¿Quién se acuerda que estamos estudiando ayer? Las películas, the pictures, the, the movies. movies. Exactly, because this week we were going to talk about movies, right? Movies and how to, like, how to describe movies and everything. Um, for example, Olga Lopez, what is your favorite movie or one of your favorite movies or series? Uh, oh, series. Um, Manifest is um, a, a series for the people who um, eh, eh, come back to the dead de de or oh, mm -hmm. die in muerte. <laughs> <laughs> From the dead? <laughs> Uh -huh, from the dead. So they are but, dead and they come uh -huh. back. Yes. But it's interesting because um uh at the three time temporada uh, 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 uh -huh. three season um um this got uh De, se descubre. <laughs> <laughs> they discover. What do they, what do they discover? Yes. Uh, uh, that mm -hmm. the people come back to the Ah, okay. So they 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 didn't know that they were dead, but they revealed, they discovered that they mm -hmm. were dead and they are, are alive again. Mm -hmm. They don't know why. Uh, I, I don't know right now. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> So that's a recommendation, right? For tomorrow, yeah. instead of the class, you can watch what is the name of the series? Uh, manifesto. Manifest. 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 Yes. Okay, perfect. It's so, in Netflix. Netflix. Okay, so tomorrow, that's a recommendation from <laughs> Olga, okay? Perfect, Olga. Perfect. Thank you. And Anna, what is your favorite uh, movie or your favorite series? Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't have uh, favorite movies and, and series. <laughs> you don't, you don't have a favorite movies and favorite series? Mm -hmm. No. You barely watch TV or, or do you prefer books? Um, I little watch TV. What do you watch when you watch TV? Mm, uh, comedy. Comedy. Okay. What kind of comedy? What kind of program? Um, neighbors. Neighbors. Vecinos. Yes. Okay. Yes. A lot of people 
A lot of people like that series, Neighbors, yes. Very good. That's another recommendation from Ana Lopez. Let's see, Rafael, good evening. Um, tell me, what is uh, one of your favorite movies or one of your favorite series? Well, uh, good evening. Well, I I like any any movies. Um, uh, and a special movie is uh, Pride and Prejudice. Okay, Pride and um, Pre Prejudice. Okay, Pride and Prejudice. And what is that movie about? It's about uh, it's about a simple girl mm -hmm. with a gentleman of uh, of the royal, mm -hmm. and and um, they like between. They like but, each other, but uh, but. Uh, um her conditions her con social condition mm -hmm. don't don't no les permite continuar uh they don't let them continue for the social condition but but the but the end uh, they they stay together at the end, they they end up together. Yeah, so it's 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 a, a an special movie to me. Okay, it's, it's, is it a, a romantic movie? It's a it's a mix of of pre, pre use uh -huh. pre use love and light and and. Prejudices, prejudices. Prejudices. Okay, and, very and, good. And, uh -huh. and my and, and my my favorite uh, series, it's a uh, uh, a series called Anne with E. Okay, Anne with E. Yeah. And what is that series about? Oh, uh, it's about a girl. Um, orphan, ¿cómo se dice orphan? Orphan. Orphan. She's orphan and, 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 and uh, two, two brothers mm -hmm. and adopted, adopt her, but, but they want a boy and the orphan sending to girl and they they not want a, a girl mm -hmm. but 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 it's, it's so interesting we, when she come in that house and happen as uh many situation it's 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 nice it's it's night nice. uh, it's um um desarrolla develop develop on the on the camp and it's very nice i recommend it to every Okay, perfect. Thank you, Rafael. So tomorrow okay. you have recommendations from Rafael, right? A movie that is called Pride and Prejudice and I'm with E, right? Okay, perfect. Now, Alejandra, Elizabeth, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, Alejandra, good evening. And uh, tell me, what is your favorite movie or your favorite series? What is like a recommendation that you can give? My favorite movie is La Vida Bella. La Vida es Bella. Okay, how do you say La Vida es Bella in English? 
The life is beautiful. The life is beautiful, uh huh? And uh, a series? And friends. <laughs> friends, right? Yes, that's a classic now. Yes. Okay, perfect. So you have the recommendation. La Vida es Bella also is a classic. And friends. Thank you, Alejandra. Let's see. Isaac Mungia. Are you there, Isaac? Yes, teacher. Okay, Isaac. Uh, tell me one of, of your favorite movies or one of your favorite series because tomorrow we have vacation, right? So probably you will be able to watch something at okay. night. My favorite movie is uh, Como Si Fuera La Primera Vez with Adam Sandler. Ah, okay. That is, uh, that's the name of the movie is, is different, right? It's like first... Well, I, I don't remember, but with, with Adam Sandler, right? Okay. It's a comedy, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, my series is The Good Doctor. The Good Doctor. And is that a, a drama or a comedy? It's a drama. It's a drama. Okay. It's about doctors? Yes. It's a doctor that has autism. Okay. How do you say that in English? Um, is a uh, doctor that has or is uh, has autism right or is autistic right okay thank you okay perfect thank you for your information Isaac we have also Anna Alejandra already participated Felix are you there Felix good evening yes I'm here Okay, good evening. Okay, we are asking for recommendations for tomorrow, right? What is your favorite uh, movie or your favorite series? Okay, uh, for me, um, I don't know because uh, I, I don't have a favorite movie or series. I mean, I saw a lot of movies and series, but I don't have one. You don't have one. Okay, but if if I ask you like for a recommendation, because tomorrow we won't have classes and I want to watch a movie tomorrow, right? What will what will be your recommendation? Mm, I don't know. You don't, <laughs> you don't have a recommendation. <laughs> what will be your, your yeah. plan for like for example, if when you have like spare time? Okay, okay. You know, off, what? Uh, you know what? You know what? I make it up. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, Matrix. Which but the one? first one, Matrix. Matrix. Oh, okay. Matrix. Yeah, Matrix is. Right. Yes, it's a science fiction movie, right? Yes, I like that uh, kind of uh, movie because it's a science, science fiction movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you like uh, Matrix 1, Matrix 2, Matrix uh, 3, or the, the new one? Or all of them? Uh, I think that the better was the, 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 the first, Matrix 1. Yeah, the first the one, right? Yeah, that's the yes. best. Very good. Thank you, Felix, for your recommendation. And let's see who else we have here. Soraya, are you there, Soraya? Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me what will be like one of, of your recommendations, like uh, your favorite movie or favorite series to watch tomorrow. My favorite movies is Jurassic Park. One, two, three, four. All of them. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, that is like a science fiction movie, right? An action movie, Jurassic Park. Yes. Did you watch the, the last movie? from Jurassic Park? Eh, la ultima. Mm -hmm. Did you watch no, it? No, 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 no. Okay, I didn't watch it also, right? Because I didn't know, I was going to ask you if it was good or not, but you, ha you, you didn't watch it, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, and uh, what is your favorite series? My favorite series is all all emer uh -huh, all uh, emer 
emergen, um, emergencia. Emergency. Emergency 911. Emergency 911. And what is that series about? It's about emergencies or? Uh -huh. Emergency is, is or doctors. Doctor. Emergencies. Uh -huh. Emergencies. O sea, sobre emergencias. Oh, Pasaba, like, pues, médicas. Médicas. Uh, like medical, like, like the good doctor. No. No. Este es Emergence 911. That is the name of the, the series. Emergency 911. Uh huh. It's, okay. it's serious old. It's an old series. Uh huh. It's an old series. Okay. I understand. Very good, Soraya. Thank you very much for your recommendation. I will look for it. Emergency 911, an old series. Thanks. Perfect. Thanks. Now, Thank you for your recommendation. I will watch one of them tomorrow because tomorrow we won't have classes. And also I want you to do the same right right now. Uh, we are going to have like a role play. Do you know what a role play is? Seven es on role play. Eso es lo que vamos no. a tener hoy. Eh, un role play es algo que van a preparar como una, eh, una conversación, pero de ustedes, ¿verdad? You are going to prepare a conversation. We are seven, so what would be a, like a trio, right? And this is the conversation that we are going to take uh, as an example, yesterday's conversation, right? Um, if we remember, this conversation was about planning and watching a movie right they were planning to watch a movie like for example uh what do we what do you want to see right uh is this movie interesting uh, what about this new movie so this conversation is about like preparing right like the setup to watch a movie esta conversación es para que ustedes vean cómo se prepara una como para ver una película que están platicando Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a hacer, solo que le vamos a cambiar la información. Vamos a cambiar la información de X-Men Movie, la podemos cambiar por alguna que dijimos, por ejemplo, a Pride and Prejudice, Matrix, um, The Good Doctor, a Serious, right? Eh, vamos a cambiar eso. Ahí mencionan también Game of Thrones. They mention Game of Thrones, but if you want to mention it, it's okay. And at the end, you will decide what movie to watch, okay? Al final van a tener que decidir qué película van a ver. Van a entrar a un acuerdo después de todas las preguntas de cuál van a ver. So, a role play, you are going to prepare the conversation. Yo les voy a dar cinco minutos y después vamos a practicar las conversaciones. We are going to practice the conversation. Do you have any question? Questions about the activity? No, teacher. No questions. Okay. What are we going to do, Ana? ¿Qué vamos a hacer, Ana? Ahorita. Um, vamos a preparar una conversación relacionada a película o, o, o series. Well, yes, exactly. So I'm going to form the groups right now for you to practice. Remember, you have five minutes. You can write it if you want to. La pueden escribir. Or you can memorize it, right? Like, like, usted dice esto, yo digo esto. But try to practice it, try to practice it in English, right? Y después, vamos a ver qué es lo que prepararon. Okay, just let me check here. I shared the conversation in the group, so I guess that you won't have any problem. Okay, now join the groups. And if you have any problem, let me know. Okay, join the groups right now. You have five minutes.
I suppose. I, I don't know. We, we called we called to start uh, uh, when, oh, I mean, tomorrow is free class. And <clears throat> um, what do you think to do it tomorrow? No, maybe. Felix, what do you think? Hello, hello, Felix. Hmm? Well. Uh, uh, lo que pasa es que supongo que tenemos que hacer un ejemplo de la conversación a la, a la, a la que practicamos el día de ayer, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, por ejemplo, un ejemplo podría ser que yo les hice una pregunta tipo What general of movie do you like? For example, I, I like a horror movie. So I, uh, what? So my favorite movie, for example, is uh, I don't know if you know uh, Silent Hills. Silent Hills is a horror movie. Mm. Entonces, yo tengo que uh, y hacer, decirles que si la vamos a ver. Entonces, algo así es lo que yo entendí que hay que hacer. Está bien, o sea, solo que vamos a, a intercambiar ideas. Vale. Mm -hmm. Entonces, um, ¿cómo, ¿cómo lo plantarías al principio para que comencemos? Es que, es que era como, como basado a, a, a ay, es que ya, ya no recuerdo lo, la conversación de ayer que decía como que tipo ah, no, que lo, que pasa de que, lo que pasa de que tenemos que, 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 que plantear, digamos yo puedo plantear una, una película romántica digamos, y, y vos decís no, a mí me gustan las de ciencia ficción mm -hmm. y Olga dice Um, yo también, yo también quiero ver la de ciencia ficción, por ejemplo, vea. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Y nos ponemos de acuerdo. La cosa es que armemos una conversación, Exacto. pero no solo nos enfoquemos en una sola película, Exacto. porque es, de eso uh -huh. se trata, que al final nos pongamos de acuerdo para ver para una. Va, entonces, ¿cómo lo comenzamos? Esa es la idea. ¿Qué? ¿Qué, Félix? Exacto, esa es la idea. Ah, ok. Uh, I have a, a two situation. One is a rainy day. In, in the uh, weekend, it's rainy, rainy, rainy. And okay. we, uh, we have a two um, free days because the president... Um, Right now, pronounce this 16 is three days too. Okay, okay. And now I have a two day free and um, we have um, a raining all the weekend. And this is moment uh, for the staying home and make uh, several things and um, watch TV. Ok, pero ¿cómo comenzamos la, la, mm. la consulta? Yo preguntaría, ¿qué van a hacer ustedes este fin de semana? Va, va, dele, usted y de, <risa> del, pre, dele usted primero, pues que para que vayamos escribiendo y cada quien va a ir contestando lo que okay. va. What do you do? The weekend. Okay, entonces. This weekend. Entonces ahí Rafael contesta. Wow. I stay in, in home with my family. Mm -hmm. 
Pero I, 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 I don't know, maybe I confuse, but I think the current question is what do you will do the next week? Because it's a future. Ah. Oh. Uh -huh. No, porque I llevamos think... el weekend y el weekend ya dice que es el fin de semana. Ah, uh, pero eh, si es what do you do, es tipo tú qué estás haciendo, es el presente. Cuando usas el will, es el futuro. Y cuando es ING, es el presente continuo. Y el was or where is the past o el did, que es el pasado. Según por eso te quizás esté confundido. Cuando yo he preguntado otras veces, es what do you will do the next week? Porque podría ser the, the next Monday, the next month, the next year, I don't know. Pero igual va. Ok. Ok. Uh, uh, Rafael. Bien. Tal vez tendría que ser un poquito más específico porque aquí solo dice que va a estar con su familia. Uh -huh. eh, ahí te, eh, sería, I, I will stay in home with my, I will, ahí sí, with yo estaría, family. ajá, yo estaría porque sería el futuro. Lo que dice Félix. I will, I will stay. stay, ajá. In home with home my family. With my family. Pero maybe, que maybe, maybe it's, it's I'm going casa. to, I'm going to stay my family. I'm going uh -huh. to stay my family. Uh -huh. Sí, entonces ahí este sería que si se va a quedar en la casa con su familia, ¿qué más va a hacer en la casa? Como ahí, ahí este entraría lo de ver televisión o, o algo por el estilo. Sí, le voy a agregar este quiero ver we we will study a ver we will I was thinking about Annabelle I heard that really scared I don't like horror movies. I'm not interested in watching them. They're boring. What about those those dinosaur movies? I don't know. I'm not as fascinated by those dinosaur movies as you you are. Well, then what movie are you going to see? Are we okay, going to see? Okay, okay, let's watch the dinosaur marathon. But you make the popcorn. Hasta ahí. Lo que, Hasta no, ahí. Lo que no sé tan bien es si está algún algo mal, alguna palabra mal puesta o algo así. Porque créanme que me costó eso. Es que, como tendría, realmente yo para ver así, tendría que detenerme y, y leerla con mucha calma para que ajá. yo pueda decir algo así. Sí, porque, ajá, ajá, porque así yo también, rapidito. yo. No se Bye. puede, ajá. Ok, bueno. ¿quién sigue? <risa> Vaya, hoy voy yo primero. A ver. The day is very boring. Do you want to see a movie? Maybe. What are you thinking to see? I was thinking about Annabelle. I heard they really scary. I don't like horror movies. I am not interested in watching them. They're boring. What about those dinosaur movies? I don't know. I am not a uh, fascinated by those dinosaurs movie as you are. Well, then, well, then, what movie are we going to see? Okay, let's watch the dinosaur marathon. But do you make the popcorn? Bye. <laughs> Ahora inicio yo. Bye. Okay. The day is very boring. Do you want to see a movie? ¿Quién? ¿Quién más está que conteste? Isaac, no. no. Es que ahí está Isaac. 
No. Aquí está Isaac. No, solo tres ahí estamos. Está. No, ahí está. Sí, ah. estoy, pero voy manejando con bueno, mira, disculpe. Ah, ok, Isaac. Ah, pues si quiere. Ok. Voy de nuevo. Vaya. <ríe> The day is very boring. Do you want to see a movie? Hello. ¿Y sabe para responder o no? No, yo creo que dijo que estaba trabajando. Ah, bueno. Bueno, ah, pues le doy. Maybe what what are you thinking thinking to see? I was thinking about Annabel. I heard they really scared. I don't like horror movies. I'm not interested in watching them. They are boring. What about those dinosaur movies? I don't know. I I am not as fascin fascinated fascinated by by those dino dinos. <laughs> dinosaurs. dinosaurs movies as you are well then what movie are are we going to see okay let's watch the dinosaurs marathon but but you make the popcorn ¿Qué dice en el, en el, qué dice en el chat, niña? No sé. Déjame ver. Que practiquemos la conversación. Lo último no entiendo. Eh, come back, el regreso. Ajá. Uh -huh. Nosotros, ah, no sé qué. Sí, ya sabe. Pero no nos, no nos pide que regresemos. Todavía no. Ajá. Félix, ¿estás ahí, Félix? Sí, estoy ahí. Okay, what happened, Felix? Uh, nothing. Uh, just I think we have uh, confused how to, uh, to make the the conversation. Okay, but you you were disconnected. Yes. Okay. For for this is for uh, for error, me desconecté, pero volví a entrar. Okay. Ya vamos a regresar, pero puedo practicar con okay. ellos. Uh, sí, uh, just, just I have a question. Uh -huh. I don't know, uh, somebody sent me a screenshot mm -hmm. about a new, uh, when the president say, uh, will we have two days off for Independence Day? So I don't know if uh, we want to uh, have class the next Friday. Yes, this Friday, okay. Yes, that's a very good question, actually. Eso estaba diciendo al principio de la clase, eh, para que me entiendan, ¿verdad? Eh, ahí Félix me estaba preguntando, gracias por regresar. Ya vamos a practicar la conversación, espero que hayan practicado. Pero Félix me estaba preguntando acerca de si vamos a tener clases el viernes, porque ahora en la tarde eh, se decretó que iba a ser día de asueto, el 16 y el 15 también, ¿verdad? Entonces a, a nosotros no nos han dicho nada aún. Entonces, supongo que mañana nos van a confirmar si sí o no, ¿verdad? Entonces, tienen que estar pendientes porque en el grupo van a mandar esa información. Tienen que estar pendientes mañana y no sé si la próxima semana vamos a reponer esa clase. Si tendríamos de lunes a viernes la clase, mmm, no sabría decirles. De ahí tienen que ellos arreglar, la administración va a arreglar. 
Pero muy buena pregunta. Mañana definitivamente si no va a haber clase, ¿verdad? Ya, eso ya estaba programado. Y la íbamos a reponer el viernes, pero este, el viernes no sabemos todavía. Así que vamos a esperar mañana y a ver qué dicen. Este, now we are going to continue with the role play. Did you practice with the role play? Yes, right. It was easy or it was difficult? Easy or difficult? Easy, right? Very easy. Easy, 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 easy peasy, right? Yeah, it's really easy because you just need to. Tenía ya la la conversación y ayer el homework era también practicar un poco con la conversación, verdad? Este, but um, we are going to check right now the results. Uh, did you have any problem? Tenían preguntas alguien o acerca de la conversación? En la primera oración que nosotros pusimos, uh -huh. mi compañero dijo que estaba mal redactada. Uh -huh. A mí me cuesta todavía bastante la redacción. Yo estoy hablando como que soy yo Tarzán Tuchita. <risa> okay, sí, entonces yo había puesto así. What do you do this weekend? Uh -huh. Entonces no sé si está bien escrita o está mal escrita o mal redactada. Uh, what do you do this weekend? What do you do this weekend? Eh, es que what do you do es que haces este fin de semana. Mm -hmm. Que haces este, like in present, right? Pero qué vas a hacer? What are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? Si queremos en el futuro, qué, qué vas a hacer? Or uh -huh. what will you do? What will you do this weekend? Entonces, así con el, con el will. No, have you started going to and will already or not yet? ¿Ya lo estudiaron eso? Yes. Okay, perfect. So that's what we use in the future. But what mm -hmm. do you do this weekend? Is ¿Qué haces este fin de semana? You can understand, right? But mm -hmm. if you're going to use the future, is will or going to. Okay. Now I need a volunteer, un voluntario. Teníamos dos salas, two rooms, right? Which one is going to, to start? Volunteers, voluntarios. Who wants to say or who wants to practice the conversation? Olga? Olga was. Vaya, Rafael, animemos. We try to do it. Okay. Uh, so. Okay. Yo comienzo. What are you going to do this weekend? Well, I stay in, in home with my family watching TV. What's the movie do you want to do, watch? Well, my son are children's. I suppose Trek or Cinderella movie. I like it. And for you and your wife, what the movie do you watch? There's a romantic movie called Adeline's Secret. We love it. Really? Really? I watch this movie too. Yes, I recommend. It's all. And <laughs> the end. I can hear you, teacher. Sorry, sorry. Very good conversation. Very good. Yes, Felix. No, solo eran unos aplausos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> clubs. Okay, very good. Uh, you, were, you were working with them, but he got disconnected. I creo que fue la internet connection, but tuvo problemas. But very good, very good. Thank you. And now the other group, Ana, Isaac, Soraya, Felix, and Alejandra. You were working together, right? Es, no. que, es que nosotros, teacher, no practicamos la que había, la que usted nos puso, sino que yo entendí, yo no estuve en la clase ayer, entonces cuando la vi ahora, entendí que usted dejaba de clase, de, de homework, el hacer una conversación parecida. Uh -huh. 
a la que estaba ida. Entonces, yo había hecho una. Exactly. Uh -huh. Entonces, es, esa es la que estuvimos ahí medio practicando, pero como en lo que la compartíamos y todo eso, o sea, este, como que solo como unas dos o tres veces la practicamos, pues no, no. Ok, perfecto. No fue así. ¿Y van a practicarla en parejas o en eh, todo el grupo va a participar en la conversación? Y ahí no sé quién de los que estábamos ahí no, no se quedó también con la imagen que compartí. Ok, yes, because I need to hear you like practicing like in a conversation, right? La, la, the homework was for you to practice para que practicaran para esta actividad. So um, that was the purpose, but I need you. I, I don't know if you want to practice with somebody else, Araya, or if you are going to choose one of your your classmates to practice the conversation. Mm. O sea, practicamos la que yo hice. Ajá. Ajá, esa. Okay, y usted la va a practicar con alguien más. Sí, sí. Con quién? A ver, quién de de los compañeros que estuvimos ahí de las compañeras se anima. Okay, who wants to practice with Soraya? ¿Quién quiere practicar con Soraya? Me, teacher. Okay, Alejandra. Okay, Alejandra and Soraya, go ahead, please. Vaya, espérame. Espérame, espérame, espérame que tengo que buscarla. Okay. Va, y a ver si está buena, teacher. Okay. Va. The day is very boring. Do you want to see a movie? Alejandra? Maybe. What are you thinking to see? I was thinking about Annabelle. I heard they really scary. I don't like horror movies. I am not interested in watching them. They're boring. What about those dinosaurs movies? I don't know. I am not as fascinating, but though those dinosaurs movie as you are. Well, well, then what movie are we going to see? Okay, let's watch the dinosaur marathon, but you make the popcorn. Okay, very good. Perfect conversation. Really good. Now, uh, next one, y el resto, the rest of the group, what happened? Do you want to practice? Are you ready to practice? Oh, hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Who are you going to practice with? ¿Con quién va a practicar? Um, no sé, porque... Ay. El muchacho, no sé cómo me recuerdo el nombre, dijo que estaba trabajando uh -huh. y no sé quién más estaba. Hola, okay. dice, no me pude practicar si te venía manejando, Isaac. Ah, Isaac. manejando. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Sí, y ahí la casa de mi mamá. Ok, she was, she was driving. So, Ana, it, it was Alejandra, Elizabeth. You can practice with Alejandra or with Soraya if you want to, Ana. Con Soraya. Ok, Soraya. Help Anna, please. Okay. But in okay. Piesa, Anna, oh yeah. Okay. The day is very boring. Do you want to see a movie? Maybe. What are What are you thinking to see? I was thinking about Annabelle. I heard they really scare. I don't like horror movies. I am not interested in watching them. They are boring. What about those dinosaur movies? I don't know. I'm not as fascinated by those dino dinosaurs movies as you are. Well, then what movie are we going to see? Okay, let's watch the dinosaurs marathon, but you make the popcorn. 
Okay, perfect, Soraya. Thank you for helping, Ana. Thank you. Perfect, Ana. Perfect. That's the purpose. El propósito de la tarea era para que ustedes practicaran, para que hicieran un role play. But you did it really good. Now we are going to have the pronunciation practice, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver qué son las palabras que aprendimos en estos ejercicios. We are going to check the words that we have learned in these exercises. So I'm going to share the screen again. Just let me paste them here. Just for you to check here. Let me check. Because I paste, I have some, some words that I want to practice with you. New words, right? Okay. We are going to begin. How do you say temporada? Temporada, pero de, bueno, temporada, temporada, ¿verdad? Temporada de series, temporada de, de clima, de estaciones, season. ¿verdad? Season. season, right? So, we are going to say that is a season, right? First season, last season. That is the way we are going to talk about seasons, right? Now we have another one, death, right? La muerte, right? Death. Mm -hmm. We have another new word, manifest, right? That is another word, manifest. Mm -hmm. Now, series, series will be always in plural. Si yo hablo de una serie, no voy a decir series, sino que voy a decir series. One series. I like a series. Bueno, me gusta una serie. Siempre va a ser en plural, siempre. Series. And, and if it is in plural, plural, right? Series. Neighbors, right? Neighbors is the name of one series that you uh, mentioned. Pride and prejudice, right? Pride and prejudice. What is the meaning of pride? Orgullo. Orgullo, right? And prejudice? Prejuicio. Prejuicio. That, that's a book also, right? Yes. A book. Very good. Now we have... We have a lot of words. Let's see. Pride and Pre Prejudice is a period time movie. Es una película de época, podríamos decir, ¿verdad? O podemos decir, es una película que habla de la historia. It's a history movie. This is an with an E. Ah, it's a movie. It's a movie that the movie is called, it's called, or the name of the movie is, right? Orphan is a new, another new word that we learn. Orphan or, or huérfano. Um, it is developed in the countryside. Se desarrolla en el campo. In the camp? No, in the countryside, right? In the countryside. Let's see what else. They said uh, Friends. Friends was another um, movie, right? Another movie, another series, right? A classic series. Autism, right? Somebody mentioned that the good doctor had autism, autism, or that OS, autistic, autista. 911 emergency, that, that is the name of, of the series, right? I heard thinking, thinking, right, in the conversation that you practice. It's not thinking because thinking is different, right? Thinking is undir, verdad? Thinking. But thinking is pensar, ¿verdad? Thinking. Dinosaurs, ¿verdad? Dinosaur. Dinosaurs is, is a series, right? Is that a series? ¿Es una serie eso? Dinosaurs? No. No, it's a movie? Movie. Yes, movie. movie. Uh -huh. uh, because you mentioned marathon. We are going to watch the marathon of dinosaurs. Marathon, maratón, ¿verdad? Entonces, so I thought it was a series. Pensé que era una serie, marathon. And horror, no, right? Horror in Spanish is okay because H is muted, right? La H es muda en español. But in English, no. Horror, right? It's a horror movie. Oh. Horror, horror movie. Exactly. Perfect. Now we are going to continue with the class. Let's see. We still have. 10 minutes, and this is just practice, right? This is a review. Acerca de los participles and uh, as adjectives, right? The X-Men movie sounds interesting. Uh, let's see, let's make it bigger. Stephen King's <laughs> books are fascinating. I think action movies are boring. 
I'm not interested in action movies. I am fascinated by Stephen King's books. I am bored by action movies. So when we do this kind of exercises, cuando hagamos estos tipos de, de um, eh, ejercicios, tratemos de usar las palabras que ya tenemos, ¿verdad? Interesting. Ah, oh, what do you want to watch a movie? Is it interesting? Yes, it's fascinating. Oh no, I think that movie is boring, right? It's boring. Uh, I'm interested in action movies. Can we watch an action movie? Okay, so usemos del vocabulario que estamos practicando. That's a recommendation. And uh, now I want you some help. I want you to help me, right? To uh, complete these sentences. It says complete these sentences, then compare with a partner. This is just a review, un review como lo que hicimos anteriormente. But I guess that we already did this, right? Creo que ya hicimos esto, no? Yes. Yes, yes right. Yesterday, exactly. Because it's, this is like almost the same. John Cho is such a, an amazing actor, right? So mm -hmm. we wrote amazing here. I'm always by this incredible, I'm always amazed or amazing, right? Amazed. What is the different difference? Amazing. Exactly. Amazing. What is the different the difference between amazing and amazed? For example, amazed. in this um so let me see here. For example, in this uh and this sentence it says John Cho is such an amazing actor. I'm always amazed by his incredible talent. What is the difference? Amazing is uh, uh, la acción y eh, el amazing is a la persona. Is that correct? Is the feeling. Oh, is perdón. The feeling, the feeling. Yes. exactly. Amazing <laughs> is uh, like, it's describing the person or the thing. Amazing, el ING está describiendo a la persona. Pero mm -hmm. amazed es el sentimiento, right? Mm -hmm. Feeling. Very good. That is the difference. Next one. Most TV shows are really... Eh, la que tenemos que utilizar es bored, ¿verdad? So, most TV shows are really boring or bored? Boring. Boring, boring exactly. That's why por eso practicamos, por eso repasamos. I often get so boring or bored? Bored. Bored. Bored, exactly, bored with D, right? Bored, perfect. Now we have boring and we have bored, perfect. Next one, I was, y aquí tenemos que usar interest. I was interested or interesting? Interested. Interested, interested exactly. I'm interested. I was interested in watching the Martian and Marciano. After I read the book, and I was surprised that the movie is really interesting. Interesting, perfect. And the last one, I'm um, exciting. We, vamos a usar exciting. I am excited or exciting? Excited. Excited, excited exactly. Excited to watch The Avengers. Everybody has told me it's really exciting. Exciting, exactly. That's the reason why we practice. Aunque ya lo hagamos, siempre nos ayuda, ¿verdad? Entonces, mm -hmm. aquí tenemos interested y tenemos interesting. We have excited and we have exciting. Perfect. Now, let's see what else do we have here. Ah, oh, this is a listening, but this is a listening. We, we just have like four minutes and we won't be able to complete it. Este es un listening, pero lo vamos a hacer después. No sé cuándo, porque puede ser el viernes, puede ser hasta el lunes, ¿verdad? Entonces, this is a listening. And as a, as a recommendation, I'm going to share something here. As a recommendation, since we have applications and everything. Let me see here. I was going to do something, but I'm not able to see it here. Let 
What's up? Oh, it's here. As a recommendation, since we are have now um, Netflix and different applications to watch, change the language. Traten de usar subtítulos para las películas y cambien eh, el vocabulario, verdad, de las de las de las aplicaciones a inglés, si pueden, verdad. Por, ahí, ahí van a aprender mucho más eh, vocabulario. Por ejemplo, aquí podemos ver que está en inglés y dice thriller movies. So all of these are thriller movies, right? These are Emmy collection. This is a beginner. This is feel good movies. A feel good movie is a movie that makes us feel good, right? Like Matilda, Babe, etc. right? And Spanish language movies, US TV dramas, new releases. So we will learn new vocabulary. As some um, a recommendation or as a homework, actually, como un, una tarea, I want you to watch a movie and next class you are going to give me a review. Do you know what a review is? Yes. Yes, right. So van a ver una película y me van a decir si es algo que está, que es una, le gustó la película, no le gustó la película. Este, si pueden ver también ejemplos en, en, en YouTube, creo que hay uh, videos haciendo review de películas. So I want you to do one review, not that long, no tan largo, pero sí que me digan su opinión. I like it because it was interesting, it was boring, it was um, exciting, right? It was amazing. And look for new words, eh, 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 investiguen más el vocabulario, investiguen más mm -hmm. adjetivos para describir. Si quieren, primero traten de escribirla en español y luego en inglés. But watch and try to use this vocabulary. It was a romantic movie. It was a popular movie on Netflix. Um, I, I binge watch this season, right? Binge watch, it means to watch one episode after another one. Um, it was a, a written by an acclaimed writer. Um, I, I watch. I, I watch for the family, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? You, you need to look for information and look for vocabulary para este review. Okay. Questions about this? No. No questions. Okay. So I will see you. <laughs> Actually, I don't know when I will see you, right? Because tomorrow no class. Friday we don't know, and on Monday uh, I am sure. I guess I will see you, right? So. Uh, let's wait and stay pendiente del grupo, ¿verdad? If you don't have okay. any questions, we are going to finish right now the class. And thank you for participating. And we are going to finish the rest of the activities next class, okay? okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. Have a good evening. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.